you know, in my last video, I said that TNA is doing a huge mistake in not pushing some of the younger talent. But for every bad, there's always good. If you are a true wrestling fan, you could find good and bad from every promotion out there. And I just watched this past week's Impact, and at the start of the show, Bully Ray cuts a promo backstage and addresses uh, Brooks Hogan recent real life engagement. Now I give TNA creative credit for this. They don't play the fans as stupid. They keep on top of what happens in real life and incorporate it into the story, which is brilliant. It makes the product and the characters that much believable. But like there's every good and there's every bad, I've you know come to this conclusion here now in regards to aces and eights as I'm looking through my notes here. TNA needs to kill aces and eights already. They have done a terrible job with it as a faction for the fact that nobody even knows at this point, honestly, who's in the group besides Anderson, Bully Ray, and Diva. I also don't see them as a threat. I don't know why the main event mafia would need to stop them when they're weak and not credible. What they should have done from the very beginning, which would have made Aces and Eights a lot more strong, a lot more credible faction, is they should have kept the stable short and sweet. You don't need a bunch of never-beens crowding the ring. Anderson, Devon, Bully Ray. That was all that was needed. Just some of my thoughts. All my information is found down below. Leave me a comment. Leave me a question. Email me a question. Comment. Share this video. And, um... Money in the Bank is coming up, so interesting to see what happens. Rumor is, is that Tommy Dreamer, Dreamer will replace Kane. So, enjoy the show, and until next time, later Marks.